Hello and welcome to another episode of The U. My name's Mark Burton and I'm an instructor here at Cisco. The Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense is a very popular firewall and many organizations use the Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center to manage one or more of these firewalls. It's very common to manage the firewalls using a management center where both are on-premise in your own enterprise environment. A relatively recent development is the possibility of onboarding your management center with Cisco's Security Cloud Control, formerly known as CDO. And when the management center is onboarded, and it's known as the on-prem FMC, then you can uh, manage policies uh, and if you like to analyze events from within your security cloud control tenant. The aim of this episode is to demonstrate this onboarding uh, process and to show you some of the capabilities. So the um, demonstration which I'm about to give um, uh, consists of um, a management center and firewall represented by FMC and FTD, where the firewall um, is in routed mode and connecting the two networks, uh, the 133 network and the 10 network, where there's a host called Attila on one and a host called Bleda on the other. And the reason for having those hosts in this demo is that uh, I can show you the uh, event analysis prior to the uh, onboarding process and also on uh, after that process once I've uh, completed the onboarding. So let's take a look at uh, what we're going to cover in this um, in this episode. Um, we're going to look at the onboarding process and to do that um, we'll log into the management center and then see how that onboarding process takes place. Uh, once that onboarding has taken place, then we will log into the security cloud control tenant and see uh, what, uh, uh, what, what, how, how that onboarding process takes place. We can see the management center, which is now accessible. And then we're going to investigate some of those capabilities, such as the management of policies, the device, and also the analysis of events. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's get going. So moving over to my um, demonstration system, here is my management center dashboard. And as you can see in this demonstration, it's version 742 and this system is up and running. Now this uh, management center does have a managed device. If we go to the device management menu, you can see that there is um, uh, a device. Here is its uh, IP address. And if I go to the event analysis menu, uh, I'm looking at the unified events viewer. Now we're not seeing any events at the moment. This, uh, I've, I've set this um, event viewer to be live. So if I now move over to one of the hosts, which you saw in my topology diagram, which is this host Attila. And if I um, try and communicate with the other host and the other zone, generate some traffic like so. I'm going to stop that. And what we should see uh, shortly is those events start to appear. Uh, it might take a, a, few, a few moments for them to appear. Uh, here they appear. So you can see that the communication was host uh, 50, which is address of Attila, to host uh, 90, letter. And that matched a rule in my access control policy. Uh, that rule was called um, inspect all. And uh, I can go and take a look at the access control policy. Uh, and really just to show, um, there's the name of the access policy. And within that policy, this is the rule that matched, a rule called inspect all. So, um, so my on-premise management center and firewall, they're working as intended. So what if I wanted to now onboard um, the management center to my security cloud control tenant? Well, the, the way to um, initiate that is from the management center in the integration uh, menu and then uh, SecureX. 
Now, because the version of uh, software I'm demonstrating here is version 7.4.2, uh, it's called Secure X in this version. Version 7.6 and later, that changes from Secure X to Security Cloud Control. One of the things that you have to do to enable this is that you have to select the region. You can probably tell from my accent that um, uh, I'm based in Europe, so this is a region, but there are some other regions that can be selected. This uh, security cloud control um, has, has various regions. And the next thing is to enable Secure X. Okay, now when you enable Secure X, the benefits of this are, are listed here. Things like um, you can view the events from your product within the cloud. Uh, it, uh, one of the major benefits is to be able to do that central policy management from your cloud tenants. So that's a big benefit and so on. Now for this um, onboarding process to, to work, you do need um, a Cisco SSO account. Uh, if you don't have one, then you can go and sign up for one. And you also will need to have um, uh, this SMC, uh, FMC tenant. Okay, so I'm, so I'm now going to continue to Cisco SSO. Of course, I, I have that being the employee of Cisco. And one of the things it, it says there is to, uh, do I want to grant application access? And it's saying uh, you need to check that this code here matches the one on your FMC. So if I go back to my FMC, um, so which is here, I can see that count ends uh, there, and that does actually uh, that does actually match. Um, if for some reason I close that by mistake, I can click on the View SecureX User Code and verify that. So, yeah, those those two match. Okay. Now before doing this, uh, I'm going to go and take a look at my um, tenant because I, I will need a tenant to exist. I've I've got one here. And I log into my security cloud control tenant. It says security cloud control on the left hand side, and the tenant details are here. Now, if this is something that you've not seen before, uh, in the support um, option of the menu bar, there is this documentation section. And in this documentation section, uh, there's a get started section and in this it will show you how to request a security cloud tenant so if you don't have one this is the account sign up procedure okay and then to sign in as we've already seen there are different regions and if I look at signing into cloud control in different regions you can see the various links for that there's um, a lot of information about onboarding security. Cloud Control is not purely about Cisco Secure Firewall. So if you wanted to manage devices, there are other devices like the ASA, Mar Meraki MX devices, uh, and so on. Now, this demonstration is not um, a comprehensive um, description of security cloud control, just really show you one of the popular uh, products for integrating with it, and that's the Cisco Security um, Firewall and uh, for our Firewall Manager. Okay, now going back to security cloud control, two things to be aware of. One is when the device is onboarded, it will appear here. There aren't any at the moment. And when the device is onboarded, you'll be able to manage it. And in the administration section, there's a firewall management center. You'll notice on my system, there is a cloud delivered FMC. The cloud delivered FMC is, is a option within your tenant. So if your firewall doesn't have a manager and you would like to manage your firewall using a central manager, this cloud-delivered FMC can be enabled. Now, if you take a look at um, Cisco U um, other episodes, I have recorded an earlier episode showing you about onboarding um, the Cisco Secure Firewall with cloud-delivered FMC.
Okay, so that's an option. You don't have to use it. If you didn't have a manager already, then that is a pretty useful option. Okay, um, so I've got the cloud delivered FMC, but I don't have the onboarded on-prem manager, which I can see here. So let's go back to um, this part. Um, you have to select your tenant. So if it appears there, if not, you can create one. Once you create your tenant, verify this code. That code is, again, uh, I can just double check the code is OK. And click on the tenant, verify the code, and then authorize FMC. Once it sa says I've done that, then I can close this menu option, go back to here. There are some additional choices. Now, you saw prior to the onboarding me analyzing events in my manager. If I wanted to forward those events to the uh, my SES Cloud Security, uh, Security Cloud Control tenant, I can choose to do that here. I can do that for intrusion, file and malware, connection events. I'm going to do it for connection events. And there's also this option for orchestration, which can be useful for workflows. So I'm going to save that. And now that initiates this onboarding process, it does take a little while. I can go back to my cloud control account. Uh, no device sits there yet. Um, uh, in the administration part, no um, on-prem FMC just yet. So I'll go back and just wait for that to complete. OK, so while I'm waiting for that to speed up, I'm, I'm just going to log into my Cloud Control event. So I'm going to go into Event Analysis. And uh, these are some ones I did earlier, actually. So I'm just going to um, select these events and then search. So I want to wanted to apply a filter just to look for these events. Uh, now these are historical ones. I'm going to change that to live shortly. Let's go back to here. Uh, so that looks as if it's uh, complete now. Um, then if I go back to Security Cloud Control, go to Security Devices. Let's just do a refresh. Now you can see that that FMC is online. Now, when I look at the device there, um, no options at the moment. But if I uh, select the device, then you get to see all these options here. You can see uh, details about the um, address, um, the manager, manage device options. If I click on manage device, I can go and access the manager, uh, the manage device, do it this way. Um, if I, so if I click on manage device, it takes me down to device management menu. Uh, I've got these options here for device overview, for things like routing and interfaces, access control. So if I click on that, Notice that it gives me this cross launch URL. And if I continue using my browser, it's connecting to the FMC where I can manage that policy that we saw earlier. So one way of doing this is to select the device. And then you can see options here. The other way, um, the, the other way of doing it, so if I click on this link, it's taken me now to, to the Administration Firewall Management Center so let me show you once again. So, so this link would just take me to the management center part of the security cloud control. The, the long, long way of doing that is select administration, file management center. And now I can see, in addition to cloud delivered FMC, my on-prem FMC. So to do it this way, I'd have to deselect cloud and select this one. Now that I've done that, I can do all, all these uh, fun things like 
manage devices, manage policies and so on. Um, if I go to click on device, then I can now manage the device which is registered with the manager and uh, fun stuff like this. The reason I, I, I recommend you go to the administ this administration menu is that you can do things like if you made a change, this is where you can do the deployment. If you wanted to unassign the, the manager, you can do it this way. If you go to the um, security devices and select here, you can do many of the features like configure policies and so on, so on. But you can't see that option in this part of the menu to do things like deploy. OK, uh, to do things like that. Now, if I go to the. Um, if I go to this event menu and then select event logging, you know, I can see these events. And if I change that to live. And then if I go back to this. Um, ping we did before and then if I did this ping once again so now I'm looking at event analysis but this time I'm looking at the events within security cloud control and you can see that um, these are events sent to security controlled by this device called FTD okay and um, what type of events are they uh, what's the name of the host, source and destination, and so on. So I now look to perform my event analysis from within Security Cloud Control Tenant, but there's nothing to stop me uh, as an alternative to go into my uh, local management center and perform the event analysis that way. Okay, so I've got the choice of doing that. But by having them in the Security Cloud Control, it's given me that high level view. Okay, so um, so so really that that concludes this uh, my demonstration. So the the aim of this was to re really just um, if you're already familiar with managing your secure firewall with a management center, to show you how uh, if you have the security cloud control tenant, how you can onboard your manager. And it gives you some high level capabilities such as cloud based policy management, cloud based event analysis. Thank you for watching.